This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, I'll be starting our next topic, please, bombs, bill of materials. Okay, so the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see what is bill of material, okay, functions of bill of materials, okay, types of bill of materials in CS module, basically. CS module, what are the types of bombs used? Then we will create a equipment bomb. We will create an assembly bomb, bomb. And even you can create a functional location bomb, but this is not used in CS. CS. But we will just, I'll just show you how to create a functional location bomb and followed by the customizing settings for bomb. So what are the configurations we need to do for the bomb? So these are the ones we will cover, okay? So first we will understand uh, what is bomb, bill of material, okay? So equipment bomb or functional location bomb is used to describe the structure of a piece of equipment or functional location and assign spare parts to it for maintenance. So normally, as we just dis as we discussed in the previous session, you sell the product, you sell the equipment to the customer, okay? And customer complains about it. There is a problem with the a product or equipment customer complains about it now you, what you will do you will send the technician to the customer place okay now uh, there are some uh, inside spare parts got damaged in the particular product or equipment now we need to replace those spare parts so now to know what are those spare parts okay in the particular equipment you create a bomb basically okay you create a bomb i want to know what are the spare parts present in that equipment, in that product? So that is the reason we will be creating it. An equipment bill of material lists all the components of an asset, including its assemblies and sub-assemblies. This I will show it in the system. Okay. So basically, it, it will be used, you, you will come to know what are the spare parts present in that particular equipment. Okay. Technician or the person who is creating the service orders, Okay, he will come to know what are the ones from there. He can select directly. Okay, so the main use of creating the bombs is one is structuring the object. Okay, and another one is spare part planning in the order. An object should be structured as clearly as possible from maintenance viewpoint. That means you will get the entire structure of that particular object. Object is nothing but equipment. What are the spare parts present and their quantities? Next, spare part planning in the order. If a bill of material is available for a maintenance object, this can be easily used to plan spare parts when planning a order. Maintenance order or service order, whatever. Okay, so these are the main uses. For this, you need to use the bomb. Okay, so, so this is the one. So the, the purpose of creating the bomb is, one is structuring of the object, Okay, you get the structure of the equipment. What are the main spare parts present in the technical object in that equipment? One is spare parts planning in your order, service orders. Okay, so when they create a service order, you will have an option, object structure. The moment you click on that object structure, it will give you the bomb. From there, you can select the components. Next one is spare parts planning in task list. Okay, this I will show you when we go to the uh, service contract planned service process, AMC, annual maintenance contract process. That time we will see this one. That time we will create a task list. There we can see that, how the, how the bombs are used. So this is the main purpose for creating the bill of materials, okay? Now the types of bill of materials are, one is equipment bomb, equipment bomb. This you create for equipment. Another one is material bomb. These are also called as assembly bomb. These are created for a material. We will create all these things in the system. And also you can create a functional location bomb, which is created for a functional location. But in CS module, normally we will not be creating the functional location bomb. These are used in the plan maintenance, basically, PM module, okay? So now uh, let's go to the system and create the bill of materials. So. Let me let me go to the system. Uh, 
okay so we have already created a structure if you recollect we already created a structure the structure is honda i believe honda honda this is the customer structure huh? this we have already created functional location structure okay and we have installed our uh, equipments the equipments which we have sold to the customer one diesel generator at production department one diesel generator in the quality department and one diesel generator in the utility department we have installed this equipment i'll show you again the our uh, serial numbers with their status i'll just show you one more time if you go to ih08 okay the ones which we created what is a material number the material number is this one construction type if you enter the material code just execute okay these are the ones correct so out of this i will add the status here so if you go here you see first three are already at customer place and they are installed these three three equipment